Cork beat Clare, obviously. Um, that game was on Sky Sports, and Cork's quarterfinal against Dublin will be on Sky Sports. And doing a bit of digging, their last six championship games have been on Sky Sports, and they haven't had a game on RT since the quarterfinal against Kilkenny in 2019, which is um, just not right. And there had to, there should be like. Woolly, Woolly did a bit of digging on GAR a few years ago. They're, they're not getting a whole pile of money to for these games to be on Sky Sports. Yeah. They're not getting millions and millions and millions. And for Cork fans to be not denied the opportunity to watch six championship games in a row, there has to be some sort of rule in there to stop that happening. Or even like this was all over Twitter about the five in a row before. Someone should add a word saying put the tip game. No quarterfinals should be on Sky. That's another matter. The fact that the contract says it is. The tip, uh, the tip water for game should have been on Sky, and they should have done something about it. So it uh, needs to be called out because, like, it, it, we're not talking about the Premier League here. This is an amateur sport, and um, it's different. I, you know, Joe Brody maybe goes overboard as had on that community side of things, but he is completely right, and he does have a point. And you know, it, I, I watch games of Sky Sports; it doesn't feel right. And um, the Sky coverage itself is fantastic. It's arguably better than RT. But there's nothing better than sitting and watching RT. You know all the countries watching it. Like I watched the hurling on Saturday going, How nobody's watching this. The Twitter there's not as many tweets about it. Matches on RT, everyone's watching it. You've no other option but to watch it. So just a shout out. I think it's very hard. And you we 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 spent a bit of time in Cork when we were young, Sean, in especially in East Course in particular, it's a massive hurling. They don't care about football, do you know? And for them, like a lot of places wouldn't have sky, a lot of pubs wouldn't have sky. So yeah, I know you can get it on Mayo TV and all, and I just don't think it's 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 right. It doesn't sit right with me, to be honest with you. So um, I wouldn't say deny Sky coverage. I just say be a bit more smarter about it and cut off your All Ireland quarterfinals or have them on RT and Sky. I'm sure there's a deal that the GA could do, or uh, I don't know. But yeah, it's unfair. Six games in a row and no games since two years on on RT. It's a bit of a farce, really. Yeah, well, it is one of them. Look, I think it's it's well known. Um a lot of people's takes and i i'd agree with you i'm not a massive fan of it on it um it'd be interesting to see i, I think that the deal contract or whatever comes up in a, in a couple of years it'd be interesting to see what happens what line the ga take it does feel like a more progressive ga with larry mccarthy on board as opposed to maybe someone like john horan i, I think the ga is set for a widespread change and i do think there could be a place for sky sports in the new structures or the potential new structures with more games but definitely i agree with with an all Ireland quarterfinal and particularly in a year of covid where you can't get to a game or there's a limited tickets capacity or whatever i think it's very important that that something is done about that yeah um, and just but, final thing on that sean like it it, it it just frustrates me because like the Super, as far as I remember, and I, if anyone in the comments can correct me or someone after the podcast, as far as I remember, the hurling quarterfinals were s- circled for RTE in the existing contract, but because of COVID, they had a hand, they had a good few Super 8 games taken away from the sky. So they obviously came to the table and said, We can, can we have a hurling quarterfinal? I think that should have been given to Sky, but also given to RTE. Do you know what I mean? And people always say, Oh, we weren't see- showing these games before on RT and like you would have been shown a hurling quarterfinal let's be fair this was on RT they actually have a, they have a gap in the schedule where they could show this before Tokyo or whatever so yeah I, I, I think it's not just the current contract it's the adapted contract to COVID I could be wrong on that but as far as I remember there was no hurling quarterfinal they had a, a football quarterfinal or then Super 8 uh, and again as Wally's done the numbers on it uh, if you go and listen to one of his podcasts they get an absolute nothing for it as well so you know, milk sky for a lot of money, put it back into grassroots, show us where the money's going. But uh, uh, I don't know, it just, it doesn't, I, and I didn't even think of the pandemic at the moment, the fact restricted crowds and play, people can't get to games and they can't watch the match. So it's a bit shitty really for the GA. Like, And then I think if you're someone, for example, who, who've, who's had to pay more for, for an All-Ireland final, I think the tickets have gone up to 90 from 80. It does beggar a few questions and 